Millions of Americans suffer from depression that doesn't respond to medication, but for some, the drug ketamine could be a breakthrough. Now, it's been around for decades, used in anesthesia and illegally as a party drug, but now ketamine clinics have opened all across the country, offering IV infusions to patients struggling with depression. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin followed one Alabama father of two as he went through his treatments, and she joins us now. And Sine and Tom, his name is Burt Carroll, and he says he has tried all kinds kinds of depression medications, but he says none of them has helped him in the way that ketamine has. It is not a miracle cure. It's not even FDA approved for depression, but it has quietly changed everything for Burt Carroll. In the 17 years since, 49-year-old Burt Carroll's right leg was crushed by a pickup truck. I was in absolute severe pain all the time, 24 hours a day. Medications did not relieve his pain or his deepening depression. So Carroll's psychiatrist recently suggested he come in and try IV infusions of the drug ketamine. I was absolutely terrified because I was worried about the after effects. Carroll decided to try it anyway, and he says within about a week or three infusions, something in him shifted. It's remarkable, to be honest. Ketamine has been used in surgery and pain treatment for 50 plus years, but now it may also offer the potential to help millions of Americans like Burt Carroll, whose depression hasn't responded to medication. It's already a game changer. Dr. Michael Banoff is part of COPE Psychiatry, which operates ketamine infusion centers in six states, including Georgia. He says unlike antidepressants, which can take a month or two to work. We will know within two weeks if it's going to be effective. It's not clear how ketamine works in treating depression, but it's thought to block a receptor in the brain tied to depression and trigger chemical changes that could cause the formation of new neurons. But there's little long-term research, and there are concerns that this drug could be addictive. And it is a risk. So far, we haven't had patients you know, ask for more, want more, or seem to like it in a way that's sort of a euphoric thing. During Burt Carroll's infusions, he's monitored carefully by a clinical research nurse. And he has experienced one odd but common side effect of ketamine, an out-of-body experience. Typically, the response we get from patients is, boy, that was weird or that was different. But in psychiatry, one of the biggest risks is in people who may have psychotic thoughts can actually make that worse. Dr. Banoff says if you're interested in trying ketamine, see a psychiatrist first to get a clear diagnosis. And he says ketamine is not FDA approved to treat depression. So we are still flying a little bit by the seat of our pants and patients know that this is an off-label use. The infusions here are about $400 each, not covered by insurance. But after eight infusions, Burt Carroll is feeling hopeful. I'm in a much better place. And Carroll has paid for his treatments, but he's recently been able to get infusions covered at another medical center because the ketamine is approved and covered as a pain treatment. And the FDA has fast-tracked several ketamine-like medications that are now in development. We found six ketamine clinics here in Metro Atlanta. Some are using infusions, others are using a nasal spray, and it's all kind of specialists from psychiatrists to family practice doctors who are doing this. Mm. So if you do the infusion or the the nasal spray, does that then replace medication that's normally prescribed? So it prescribed? does not. Um, like in Burt Carroll's case, he will continue to take his medication. He's even continuing with his talk therapy with his psychiatrist, Dr. Banoff. Sometimes they do talk therapy while he's doing the infusions because mm -hmm. it helps him kind of open up and have clarity. So yes, you continue with your treatment. It becomes one more tool. Absolutely. One more tool. All right. Thanks, Beth. Thank you, Beth.